Um, Jordan, congrats on the race. You know, 22057. I know you say you don't want to put limits on yourself, but that's a very, very fast time, second ever by an American. What are your thoughts on that? Thank you so much. I'm just uh, thrilled that it that it panned out so well, especially off the hot early pace. And I had to definitely be really brave, and I wanted to compete. Uh, those first couple miles, I was a little bit indecisive. Do I go? Do I not go? But it was a huge pack, and uh, I want to be up there. I want to continue. I wanted to continue to progress my time. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go with how I feel, and I was actually feeling pretty good. Um, it was a bit scary looking at the lead cart and looking at the projected times. At one point it was saying 2.17 and then, and then we slowed down and it was saying 2.18, but I, I knew and was preparing mentally that once a move, move was made, I didn't know what it was going to be, but I just had to be really tough and stick to my own rhythm that second half and uh, I'm just thankful that uh, my training really carried me through. I just trusted it that second half and tried to keep accelerating, keep staying focused, and um, just just keep going all the way to the line. Aaron. Chris, congratulations. You finished your first marathon. So what's the biggest lesson you learned from it? Uh, I mean, I definitely, I, I learned a little bit about fueling or whatever. I think, you know, my, me and my drinks were a little concentrated because I definitely I was getting pretty dehydrated. And I, I feel like my stomach wasn't really absorbing the fluids I was drinking. Like, I was, had chills in the arms the last three miles, but um, mostly, you know, I just learned to, to be patient. Um, obviously, I was in the lead there for a little bit, um, and I, but I, I, I did think it out, um, but kind of they made surge really hard, and I was just about to check off, and they and they slowed down, and I kind of knew from last year that some of those guys like to really surge hard, and I, I felt like my breathing was good, but my legs. We're not going to be not going to be in for, for big surges, and so I just wanted to just try to run steady. Um, and I probably got a little ambitious, thinking you know, kind of seeing that projected time drop, and like thinking, all right, well, I, I don't feel so bad, and like I can run these you know 303 k's or whatever, and you know I can run 210, and then um, and then it, yeah, things really started to hurt pretty bad, uh, and it kind of in the last six miles was a I guess maybe the last five miles was a, was a, a progressive, a progressive death march. Um, one of those times where you kind of look up at the guys ahead of you, and it's like, wow, they're going, they're running really slow. And then look up a mile later and be like, they're further away, so I'm running even slower. So, um, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it's a good step. Obviously, I you know I want it all right away, but we all can't be Jordan. So hopefully, it's a it's a learning experience on the way to, to bigger things. Um, for Jordan, we talked to your coach, Javier Salazar, after this, uh, or after the race. And even though Galen won, he said he had to, if he had to pick the performance of the day, the Jordan project would go to you. Uh, what does it mean to hear that and just talk about how successful your first two career marathons have been? That's a huge honor to hear. Uh, immediately when I crossed the line, I just said, how did Galen do? How did Galen do? I was so thrilled to hear that he won. Uh, it's just he puts in such hard work and it's been really fun this build up because we've honestly been doing it every workout. I've even hopped in with some workouts with him and we've been on the same schedule and we've felt tired the same days and felt good the same days so that's always a good sign and it, throughout the race I was just thinking of him up there and that just always gives me a lot of confidence and uh, so it's, he's just been a great mentor to me. and. Um, even at times he's like a big brother. He'll he'll yell at me on my we're working on my form. So he'll on our easy days he'll say get your, get your shoulders back and uh, so it's been just really nice to have him as a mentor because obviously he's Olympic medalist in this event. So it um, it's just nice to see how he approaches things and uh, I, I still think he he wins <laughs> the performance of the day. But that's nice of Alberto to say. It, you know, it's really exciting. It's been uh, fun to be a part of, uh, starting with Boston uh, for myself and Galen, and then that's one of the reasons, you know, that I went with that lead back today is that I want I want us to be up there, and I could have maybe run my own pace, and then 
I don't know what would have happened at the end. Maybe I just run my own pace and then I, I catch up at the end. But you really want to just be there and compete. So I'd rather tell myself, okay, next time I'm going to go, go out in that pace and then hopefully just maintain that pace rather than starting slow and, and trying to time trial it yourself. So I think it's important to, yeah, show that we can compete with them. And uh, that's one of the things I was telling myself, just be confident you can compete with these ladies. And obviously it's, it's really intimidating <laughs> to be up there with someone like Tababa, who I've looked up to ever since I was really young. So um, yeah, it's just huge to have us uh, podium finishes again and then top 10. Um, yeah, just for Chris and his debut, I mean, just to be top 10 it is an amazing day. Jordan, did you think about your mother at all today? <laughs> the, whole, the whole last half, I was just, I was just tell, telling myself uh, that she was running it for me. I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking of her the, the whole time. And honestly, you know, she's the best at um, positive self-talk and just always, we just have our, our little things. So I have my little list of things that, that she used to tell me. and. Um, yeah, she, I mean, that just really carries you through. And I think in the marathon, that's been, that just helped me in Boston. You just have to have something real deep that drives you when it starts to get real, real hard. And uh, uh, she's the one that I started out running with. And it just, honestly, that last six miles, I was pretending I was running that route with her. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's neat that, uh, I know, I know that she's just with me every step, and, and um, it, it just really powered me to all the way to the line. Jordan, this time a year ago, you'd never run a marathon. Did you ever, did, at that point, did you ever think that, you know, this kind of success was going to be possible and this quickly? Uh, no, I didn't. I mean, it's just very, I'm very grateful. I had always hoped that I'd be great at the marathon, and so I'm really glad that we decided to move up this young, because obviously, uh, yes, it's a sign for Boston to go well, but you never know with the second one. Some people have great debuts, and then they never get any better than that. So for this to go so well, it's just, uh, you know, in a way, a relief. But I, I was just trusting in my training, and I, I, just lo I just love the marathon. That's why I was telling myself out there, I'm just like, you, you're great at the marathon, like this is your event, this is this is what you love, and uh, I just love the training for it, I love the build up, and so I, I really think it's it's definitely my event. I'm, some people are just gifted at certain things, and I probably split my, again, my 5K PR through, the, through this race, I'm not really sure, <laughs> but I, I just, yeah, I'm just, I just can keep going, you know, go, 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 so, um, yeah, it just seems to definitely kind of, this day solidifies that it, that's my event, so again, it's exciting to be able to focus on it.